one. Hey, Tube, it's me, your old pal, Hyper Viper One. Oh, and you see my new intro, compliments of Viper Jr. Oh, boy, that guy's a, that guy's a star in the making, I tell ya. I love him. Shout out to him. Um, anyway, okay, back to me. Hey, let's talk about Punk Rock Records! Here we go. Okay, here we go. That's what we're gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. I don't know what you guys are doing, but this is what we're doing now. Mm. I ordered this a long time ago. Uh, new from... Them, the band on Bandcamp. This is the Nasty Rumors from Bern, Switzerland. It's on Wanda Records from 2022. And it is, uh, I guess, power pop punk. A little tougher power pop, I would say. That's awesome, though. This is really good. And I did order it all the way from Europe. So it was pretty expensive. But we're not going to worry about that, are we? Because we haven't figured out where to get Wanda Records in America. If you guys know, do, 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 tell me. Okay. I got this also. The Stiffs. They are from Blackburn, Lancashire. I guess, I'm pretty sure that's in England somewhere. But uh, this is their retrospective 1979 through 1985 and on projectile platters 2023 so i had this okay so there we go and then there's the songs i had uh, where is it this seven inch here and i guess it was released in 2008 the first time and um so I was always looking for these guys, and uh, this that one song was super good. It's the first song on the second side. So, I mean, this is this is a pretty good record. These guys are uh, power pop, um, kind of that English style of, you know, the more melodic -y punk stuff. Uh, singing, uh, but uh, real good, solid. And um, so the beginning, when I first, a couple times I heard it, the first couple songs, they're not as... You know, there wasn't a, like... But then by, you know... The couple of times I heard it, it... This is really, really good. I've been listening to this a lot. So, um... They got... Uh, one side note, I had mentioned that I'm not really into reggae. And they have, like, a reggae bass line that starts out. And I was like, oh, man. Because it's, like... It, through their 85 perspective. So I was like, oh, boy. They're gonna get a little experimental at the end. And their bass line... It's actually, it goes into like a, uh, you know, a power poppy kind of song and it works. And, but, you know, I was just a little scared. But just, you know, I, I it's cool. These guys are cool. I, I like this a lot. I've been listening to it a lot. So, the Stiffs. And that just came out. Just got it. This also just came out. Uh, <clears throat> got the mail order. This is Mean Jeans from Portland and maybe. Los Angeles still? I know the, the main guy. I think he lives in Los Angeles too. And this is on... Whoa! Space Dimension Toxic Waste. This is maybe a Toxic Avenger um, themed album or something. Uh, they got I definitely have a song about the Toxic Avenger on here. Um, my Party Punk. If you guys have seen my videos, you know I like these guys. Um, yeah. Uh, so, uh, pop, pop, uh, uh, whatever. Yeah, yeah, okay, next. Don't need to talk about that. That's new, though. Just got it. Uh, you could get a version that I didn't get that came with a sweatband. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need a sweatband. Um, but anyway, maybe I do. <whistles> Burn it. Uh, the generation... Boy, I'm gonna mess this up. Generation Suicidea. Uh, these guys are from Los Angeles, and this is their early stuff. I 
bought a record before and missed out on one of their albums. Uh, I'd heard about these guys. They're like a uh, sort of, I guess, post-punk or darker influenced a little bit, but in a punk. I mean, they're punk. These guys are punk. They just have their guitar sound is like kind of a post-punky. It has that chorusy sound or whatever. But they're really good. Um, this one, this is their earlier stuff, and um, the like uh, drummer lady. She sings on some of the songs, which makes it even better. Like the, these songs are really good. Um, but of course, I don't. I don't know what they're talking about. But I assume it's political and. Here's what they look like. Cool. They're cool. These guys are cool, dude. But anyway, um, yeah. Um, whatever. I won't put this back in there. You don't have to watch me do that. Um, uh, we'll move on. Um, this. This is all stuff I got new. Did I tell you that? And that Mean Jeans 2023 Fat Records. Oh, boy, this guy. Does he even know what he's talking about? He says Fat punk fat record same thing whatever so um, I, I realized that i'm not like hardcore punk and that my punk is a different version but hey everybody's got a not not and deserves to their two cents to be heard no but you don't have to watch it right okay here we go nightmare boys these guys are from huntsville alabama and they are on slovenly and this i would say is the they to me, I mean, okay, I guess, okay, so they're like Mark Min, Steve Ademic, uh, the uh, Canadian kind of sound, that kind of singy, newer punk sound is all mashed up together here, but, you know, that's, and it's really, this is good, so, um, yeah, Nightmare Boys, here they are, and the, the guy from Pork magazine i think they're out of eugene which is here in oregon where i'm from to you did that picture oh, that's the art okay and that's all i'm saying 213 2013 on slovenly okay i got this dead to me this was new also in the package i guess they were one man army they're from san francisco california i didn't know that they were originally one man army but i think the the one guy died i'm pretty sure that they but at least one of the guys is in one man army i didn't know that though but anyway these guys um they're pretty good they're i think this is on fat records too yeah fat record 213 let's just go past 213 206 fat records uh, they're kind of like, um, they're not really the Fat Records typical sound. Either are the Mean Jeans, but they're kind of singy. These guys are real good. If, uh, I mean, if your Fat Records scare you, this might be a good record to check out. I don't, I don't know, but they're, I mean, they're pop or punk. They're not heavy or hard, whatever, but they're, you know, not really pop punk. It's more whatever. Okay, I ordered this. This may be the first record I ordered off eBay. But I got this. I, I'm. If you've been watching my videos, I've been saying I'm on a big time alkaline trio kick, and this song, "Help Me," or yeah, this is on uh, the album that is I, "Agony" and that one, whatever it's "Agony and Irony," which I don't actually have. I lied when I said I had all of them. I don't have that one because it's like, you can't get it. So whatever, I'll get it when they, they're going to repress it, I'm pretty sure. So, although it's on Epic or whatever, so they may not, but whatever. They did a, a live version of all their albums, which is like a box set and they're offering that. It's like, I'm not going to buy that just to get one record, you know, or even buy that one record. I don't want to have live I don't really... I'm not really into live records, but whatever. But the reason, here, here's the story. Let's wrap it up, buddy. Here we go. We're already 10 minutes, and we got, we only got a few left. But what we got? Uh, this song. I wake up exhausted. It's not morning. Is one of my secret favorites. Tegan and Sarah, Canadian songbirds. From Canada. They do a cover of it on Alkaline Trio, so mix up two bands. I really like 
And I have a Tegan and Sarah story. I'm going to talk about them sometime. And yeah, I know. What, what, what? Huh? Okay. They're not punk. But they have punk info. They were punk. I mean, whatever. It's punk. It's like the... what? Oh, God. What's his name? I was just watching a video of a guy and he was said, Punk's an attitude. So, right. It's an attitude. And they, they have some real punkish songs so whatever i'm gonna talk about them i might even play some some ripping tegan and sarah songs so if you never heard them but whatever this is alkaline trio they do a cover tegan and sarah's version actually rocks harder than the punk band version but um they do a cover on uh, youtube you can see with sarah singing with them and they do a more tegan and sarah version of it which is rocks harder because this is more of an acoustic version of a, mostly Dan, whatever. Okay, I'm getting in. Sorry, this isn't an Alkaline Trio video, is it? But I uh, got this. Goodwill. Here's the next thing. Scared of Chaka. Uh, they're from Albuquerque, New Mexico. And this is old. This is from 97. And um, they're like a pop punk band. And um, this is on Empty Records. And I, um, this is one of those bands that I'd always been, or, you know, you, like, kind of, I heard of, but I never really got it. But then I, it's this one, oh, whatever. That's not even the sticker. It's this. Better. Goodwill, $1.99. I got this and a brief 7-inch. I was like, what? Whoa! Wee! I already had the brief 7-inch. So I gave it to my buddy, and he was happy. He didn't have it. It did have Benny's Got a Cigarette on it, but it also has Squash Me Like a Bug on it. That, my friends, is a song. Okay, next. This, as you may have known, I have discovered a term called egg punk, so I'm going to use it frequently. This is egg punk. It's Priors. That has that weird guitar. I, I, I don't know what it is. I think I may have it on my pedal board, but I not even can't think of what it's called. But it's a real weird noise that you make with your guitar, and these guys definitely have that, and the keyboards, and this is weird, and um, this is, I know the one guy, he may be the, I, I don't know, if he's one of these, I think he, this guy was um, in Sonic Avenues, and these guys are from Montreal. Did I say that? No, I didn't. This is Montreal. Okay, here we go. Let's Let's introduce the record before we go. I got ahead of myself, and I already lost. I'm lost. The seven inches, whatever. Okay. Priors. Montreal, Canada. This is called New Pleasures, and it's on Sovereignly 218. Sorry. Okay, let's start over. Uh, whatever. Yeah, okay, I was in Sonic Avenues. Whatever. Sovereignly. There it is. Um, cool. This is this is cool. Um. Then I'm going to back up, because I was talking about 7 inches, and I said I don't usually buy them, but I saw this one, and I was like, whoa, the Stitches, Second Chance. Uh, this is from 1997, very early Stitches, before their LP even. So whatever, um, I saw this, and I was like, whoa, cool, and I uh, had to buy it. And um, there's a song, Second Chance, is about being a zombie, and it's like a... It's a cool, uh, like, take on it. Uh, or you mean, early zombie song, I guess. And, uh, yeah. I like it. Stitches. I like them. They're good. Real good. This. Mmm. We're gonna talk about it, but we're not gonna... Illington's, um, uh, the Psych Power Pop, Pop Punk from, uh, Wyoming. White vinyl. This is a record store day thing. I traded in a bunch of stuff and I bought a bunch of stuff. And I had um, the one of their earlier albums. And then this one is from 2000. This is a 221 record store day white vinyl. I was like, oh, I'll get that. It'll be... But it's... I don't know. Maybe I'll give it another crack later. But I, I listened to it twice already and it was not that great. It's okay. The members of Teenage Bottle Rocket. If you're into that, that's what the one guy is. I mean, his he's the main singer of Teenage Bottle Rocket, too. The switch off, but whatever. I got this. Hollywood Potato Chip, The Vandals. Um, this one is from 204. 
And this is a 216 repress record store day also on Blue Vine. I didn't have this one and um, I don't know if I'm trying to get all of them. I guess I only don't have internet dating superstars on vinyl. But there's the back. There you go. Um, Uncrushed is on this one. I I'm sure there's a good, you know, I the vandals are awesome. So, yeah. You can't really... I, I I don't actually... I'm not probably going to get the very early stuff or that cowboy one, but I might. So, I'm not, not actually a completist. Maybe after they're into their new period where they... with the new singer, I'm definitely a big fan of that. I have Peace Through Vandalism, but why am I still talking about this? Let's talk about some Portland stuff because... Like I said before, I go to record store and they do not value the local scene. So you can get records and check out bands that you haven't heard before. Well, that's what I do. So I'm a big fan of local music and I'd like to kind of hear them before and not really look up on the internet and collect records from local artists. And this is uh, the Arctic Flowers from Portland here. And I believe they're still active, I believe. This is from 211. On, I, I can't even, I'm not even going to go for what, how, you're supposed to say that. In, uh, in a, in a missile, uh, missile reference, whatever. Seattle. Okay. But, um, this is, uh, but also a little more, uh, post-punky guitar, uh, with the female singer. And these, I, I didn't know, I, I, I kind of heard about these guys and I knew they were like kind of post-punk, but I didn't really know what they sounded like. And I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, she's just sings and melodic kind of, and cool guitars. And I probably will check these guys out live, but I haven't yet. So, and I say it's on blue vinyl. It's like kind of weird kind of vinyl. And of course, like I said, it was super cheap because they do not value Portland. Then, I got this. This is uh, Abolitionist from, also from Portland. This is 215 um, original. And this is a 217 repress, I guess. And this is on 1859 records. Um, oh, jeez, can you see it? Okay, there it is. And that is our beautiful Portland. They're burning. This is the uh, Steel Bridge, and that one is, I don't remember, oh, the St. John's Bridge, which these two aren't in the same place. This is up on a hill, which I live behind. Are you going to come and find me? Okay, um, whatever, uh, uh, I guess it would be back here. Here's us talking to you okay but anyway these guys I, i'd never heard of them i heard of, about them i guess but not really um but they're like kind of pop punk anthony me um kind of gruff uh that kind of midwestern so i don't I have any idea if these guys are like popular or whatever but i assume that they disbanded in 219 though but they definitely it's more it's i mean it's like pretty political but uh you know, I wouldn't say, oh, it's like Annie Flag sounding. It doesn't really sound like Annie Flag. It's a little tougher, I guess, maybe than that. But, um, whatever. Uh, this is the back. Did I show that? And it's on blue vinyl, too, I think. Did I say that? Did I just show two albums that are the same album inside? Perhaps they are. <laughs> maybe I'm fooling you. Anyway, um, but yeah, that's all I know. Oh, they disbanded in 219. Did I say that? Okay, bye. Abolitionist. Oh, and oh, I wanted to say they definitely they have a song about bur burned out on Burnside, which is a street here, and City of Roses, buried beneath roses, uh, over the bridge. We got lots of bridges. Uh, let's see, came on Pill Hill. That's like that's the hill up here where the hospitals are. Um, Pill Hill, um, and Dead on Mount Tabor, that's, you know, you'll see a shot from Mount Tabor at the end of this, from the Soapbox Derby, if you guys live in Portland, or whatever, even Oregon, come check out the Adult Soapbox Derby, it is the coolest Portland thing there is, that is not co-opted, I mean, it maybe did, they tried to co-opt it and be something else, but it, it it's, 
a local thing and it is the best Portland thing. Ever. I see people I don't see every year there. It's great. Anyway, or I don't go every year. I forget about it. And then I always say, hey, like a, somebody who's new to Portland, I was like, have you even been to the Soapbox Derby? You know, it's pretty cool. <laughs> but I'm telling you guys because if you're watching this, I'm at least helping you be cool. Whatever. And But if you live here, check out these local bands that aren't around anymore. And this one also not around anymore. That's the end of the story. Uh, Clark's Girls. This is a Silk Stream cover of this. this is their, I think, Silk. So, it might be their first one. I don't, I didn't really look. But I know this is 204. So I assume. Uh, I guess they're originally from uh, Oakland. I didn't really know that. But they lived here and they do not live here anymore. And I believe they live in Los, or at least the guy who's some famous dude, I guess. But he, yeah, whatever. I see his name on records and stuff. I think he, he's in Maniac with another, a guy from Seattle that was in the girls. They're in Maniac together. Cool bands. Check them out. But this is the Clark's Girls. And I didn't have this one. I have um, the one, whatever the French title. And uh, I'd heard a different one that I didn't like. And then I, Got this, I saw this, and I was like, oh, I'll check it out. And it's like, uh, you know, whatever. I think this is limited, limited, but it's cheap anyway. Just, there isn't very many, I think, and nobody sold them, probably, was the story. And, dun 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 dun, dun that's it. I am Hyper Viper, and I shall say, ta-ta for now, bye-bye, and, I don't know. Bye. Not